Welcome to Pace Moments. Here, our experts and guests discuss many aspects of corporate finance and analytical models that will help make better, more informed business decisions possible in your organization. Hi, I'm Rafe Lawson, Executive Director of the Profitably Analytics Center of Excellence. And my podcast today is, What is an Analytics Translator and How Do You Become One? So accounting, like many fields, is being disrupted by a host of new technologies, including RPA, blockchain, big data, predictive analytics, and many more. Implementation of these technologies is eliminating many jobs, especially those that are more repetitive or rules-based. The impact of this technological change is being felt in every area of the accounting profession, public accounting, private accounting, governmental, and even education. This change is only going to accelerate with many of the traditional accounting jobs that exist today gone in a few years. And as I mentioned in another podcast, these new technologies also have the potential to create new jobs that will enable finance and accounting professionals to become strategic business partners with the rest of their organizations. So where will these jobs be? Well, when thinking about that, it's helpful to keep in mind the essential role of accounts. That is, and will continue to be, value creation. Accounting's value proposition can be defined in terms of strategy, formulation, validation, and execution. Through the use of enhanced data analytics and emerging technologies, accounts can better help manage to understand how to formally analyze and execute their strategies that will help enable their organizations to succeed. Accounts can do this by assuming the role of facilitator, using the breadth and depth of their knowledge to find opportunities for improvement and to craft a shared vision for all stakeholders. They already possess most of the skills needed to implement advanced analytics. They have a holistic view of business. They intuitively understand the interrelationship between finance and strategic business decisions. And they usually have strong written and verbal communication skills. Financial professionals are also proficient at pulling data from a variety of information sources, manipulating that data in spreadsheets, and perhaps feeding the results of that manipulation into yet another system, although that handling of data is inefficient, error-prone, and ripe for automation. What accounts are often missing is sufficient technological skills. Yet by combining their business domain knowledge and analytics development competencies, Management accounts have the ability to quickly adapt to any tool or framework. They'll be able to write the code necessary to execute and operationalize analytics themselves, and that can open the path to numerous careers. While there's a perception among accounts that coding is hard, it's actually easier to get started with that than with most applications. A growing focus on data as a driver of enhanced performance has created a need for companies to possess the skills to master the data-centric value-adding processes. That's creating the need for a new role, that of data scientist. That role involves designing a data strategy that's relevant and manageable, and the extraction of information from large quantities of data. To do, to do that, data scientists combine analytical skills with business knowledge, creative and interpersonal skills, and communication skills. So this role might seem very similar to the role of management accounts, and that raises the question of whether data scientists will replace management accounts or whether the two roles will coexist. And if so, what's the relationship between them? On closer examination though, there's a distinct difference between the roles played by management accounts and data scientists. Management accounts require a deep understanding of the requirements for management accounting concepts and also understand which data can be used so they can obtain the necessary data from the various departments. Data scientists, on the other hand, can use their professional, methodological, and technical understanding to search for relevant patterns in an existing pool of data. This difference in roles means that data scientists can serve as a valuable support for financial professionals, making it possible to derive recommendations from large quantities of unstructured data. In order to utilize the synergies between these two roles, financial professionals must learn to communicate with data scientists and technological specialists, helping to translate data into business insights. A recent study by Deloitte notes, quote, if you leave it to the data scientists and the analysts, they lack the domain knowledge 
they don't know the right questions to ask. If you leave it to the businesses on their own, they don't necessarily see the potential and power of analytics. So it's a challenge for finance here to be able to bridge the gap, unquote. This challenge affords accounting and finance professionals the opportunity to serve in the role of analytics translator. This role requires combining the main knowledge and quantitative and project management skills with other abilities. Analytics translators play a crucial role serving as a bridge between the technical expertise of data engineers and data scientists and the operational expertise of marketing, supply chain, manufacturing, risk, and other frontline managers. In this role of analytics translator, financial professionals must be able to communicate with data scientists and technology specialists, helping them ask the right questions and translate data into business insights. In turn, data scientists will serve as valuable support for management accountants, making it possible for organizations to derive recommendations for, for our actions from large quantities of structured and unstructured data. With this new role of analytics translator comes the need for new skills. On the continuum of technology and analytics knowledge, ranging from no knowledge to master data scientists, what level of competency does management accountants need? That level is going to be different for everybody. And it depends on factors such as your career goals, company size, length of your career, and organizational culture. But it's clear that the skills needed by financial professionals to transition to the roles of analytics translator are different than those we learned in traditional accounting education. Yet many of the skills that we need in the past will remain important. Batch accounts already possess most of the skills of a data scientist, but in order to become an analytics translator, we need to explore new ways to manage, analyze, and extract value from data, to apply analytical and critical thinking skills to address strategic issues, and to be able to identify the questions big data can most usefully answer. This will require that management accounts employ more sophisticated analytics. In the past, we performed analytics at a fairly elementary level, using descriptive and diagnostic statistics. Descriptive statistics describe what happened, Diagnostics statistics describe why it happened. We've done things like prepare financial statements and variance analyses. But we now must move to the higher end of what's called the analytics continuum to predictive and prescriptive analytics, which look at what will happen and what should be done. So what competencies will be needed by management accounts in the future? Well, new entry-level jobs often require apply data science concepts, even at the lowest level. For example, management accounts might use web scraping publicly available data for competitive analysis. They might use R Python to build a reusable forecast model that includes factors like seasonality, geography, and demographic patterns. And they might submit a filing to the SEC using inline XBRL. These jobs require competencies in the areas of data storage and transformation, analytics and visualization programming, and movement of data. I'll briefly talk about each of these. With regard to data storage and transformation, there's a large number of data formats and data management tools. Enterprise data is largely relational, given relational data's balance between data operations of management and manipulation. SQL, or SQL, it's often called, is used to perform data operations in a relational database. ANSI SQL commands are known by every database developer and provide a universal language of data. Even as enterprises move away from relational data to more nested structures, data operations are still performed or are capable of being performed using ANSI SQL. Basic ANSI SQL concepts are easy to learn and tutorials are available on sites such as Khan Academy and Udacity. Moving on next to analytics and visualization program, we look at that by first looking at the difference between analytics programming and SQL analytics. There's a lot of overlap since they both use code to perform analytics, but programming is much more powerful. SQL is largely declarative, meaning you tell it exactly the data you want returned and the specific operations to be applied. Analytics programming is largely imperative, where you program blocks of code to perform certain operations often not knowing exactly what's going to happen during the operation. R and Python are both widely used for analytics programming. Udacity and Code Academy are good sources for introductions to these. 
And finally, it's helpful to understand how data moves through your network, a stumbling block when trying to understand the big picture of data architecture, or the pipes connecting the different components as well as the secured connection protocols. A few hours of tutorial on a site like Khan Academy uh, can eliminate much of the mystery around how data can be accessed and how to display visualizations online. So that's a brief overview of the technological skills that accountants will need uh, serving in a role as analytics translator. As I mentioned before, the ability of management accounts to serve as an analytics translator arises from their unique set of skills, and each of which will be impacted as technology evolves. With regard to their holistic view of the business, the changing technological environment will require finance professionals to have an understanding of the impact that information and communication technology has on business risks, processes, and models. This includes understanding how current and expected technology will impact the manner in which business is conducted and measured. Additionally, they'll need enhanced communication skills in order to better understand managers' changing information needs and their key performance metrics. They'll need to be able to help managers understand the information provided by analytics models by translating that analysis into a format useful for business decisions, as well as to discuss how new information can improve decision-making. They'll need to be able to work with and communicate effectively with IT and analytics professionals in order to scope out projects and also to help determine data and modeling requirements. Working together with others on an interdisciplinary team will help finance professionals uncover opportunities and create value. So what does the future hold for finance and accounting professionals? While it's still evolving, several things are clear. First, accounts need to enhance or develop advanced skills in areas such as data governance, data query, data analytics, and data visualization to be able to add insights and foresight as business partners. It's easy for data scientists to model repetitive activities, rule-based execution, and optimization. It's harder for data scientists to model creativity, trust, innovation, and implementation. Second, a key role for financial professionals will be serving as a link between massive amounts of data and business leaders to serve as analytics translators. In order to do this, we'll need to be fluent in the languages of business, analytics, and technology. We need to be able to communicate in the language of data scientists and technology specialists to translate data and to keep business insights and to communicate these insights to business leaders. The digital future is here now, and now is the time to seize the opportunity that, ch that change will bring. Start working today on expanding your skill set. Thanks for listening to my Pace Moments podcast. For more information on this and other topics, please follow the Profitably Analytics Center of Excellence on LinkedIn and visit the Pace website.